to introduce to you the final speaker of this session, Nikola, Nikola Knezevic. He is a lecturer in political theology at the Protestant Theological Seminary. He's president and founder of the Center for the Study of Religion, Politics and Society in Novi Sad, and program manager of Role of Churches and Religion in Post-Conflict Society, and the Role of Religion in Transnational Justice Educational Programs. In 2012, he defended his PhD thesis with the title Contemporary Western Political Theology at the Faculty of Philosophy in Novi Sad. Nicola publishes in the fields of political theology, post-war theology, ecumenical dialogue, theology, and reconciliation. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, dear, dear colleagues and professors, <clears throat> it is my great pleasure uh, to have this opportunity to present my paper at this very important event. Um, before I start, it is important to know that my presentation will consist of two parts. The first part will be presenting my paper, and the second part actually is introduction to the second part, which, is, which will be trailer to my documentary, which I'm working on, uh, Religion, Nationalism, and Control of Remembrance. <clears throat> uh, the title of my paper is Wartime Religious Media, Memory, and Transitional Justice in Post-Yugoslav Context. <clears throat> Armed conflict has demonstrated the darkest side of human nature with an absurd tragic vortex, leaving behind the monuments of human suffering and graveyards of human dignity. Pla uh, places like Srebrenica, uh, Vukovar, Ovčara, Kravice, Bratunac, and Ahmici are standing as a symbol of catastrophic consequences of human inability to overcome the ontological abyss and overpower evil. Moreover, uh, it is also a display of weakness of international community. In the beginning of the 90s, Yugoslav people were enthusiastic to embrace democracy and leave their communist past behind. But such enthusiasm will soon collapse under the heavy burden of historical antagonism and divisions between ethnicities lurking over decades under communist ide ideological framework. And, one, and while one demon has been expelled, several other claim at the Balkan Peninsula, raising the bloodiest conflict since the Second World War with a horrible outcome. Unfortunately, United Nations have done little to prevent or stop such tragedy, not to mention the most severe example of Dutch compounds, Srebrenica haste, which has been recently closed by a Dutch Supreme Court, ordering by the state to pay compensation for the deaths of Bosnian Muslims. Uh, Dayton Agreement was the beginning of the long and painful venture in the murky future of Bosnia and Herzegovina, like keeping the sides together with irreconcilable differences. The agony continues while tensions between ethnicities remain strongly backed by the ruling political elites. The conflicts in former Yugoslavia were essentially of political nature yet they had a strong religious subtext where religion played a significant role in the creation of ethnic divisions and manipulating with memory in the sense of raising religious and national awareness, ethno-religious identities, and therefore serve as the, as the conflict catalysts. During the war, official mass media in the Balkans were often the main source of propaganda and religious media was not immune to such abuse either. In the wartime period, main religious press media of dominant, dominant Balkan Christian confessions, such as Serbian Orthodox Pravoslavie, or Crkveni Glasnik, or Roman Catholic, uh, mentioned before last Concila, the voice of the council, had published articles or appeals with strong exclusivist and nationalistic rhetoric backing up the official state war of separatist agendas. Such a selective narrative towards the conflict is present even today, especially in the Monkey Roman Catholic Church, Voice of the Council. 
a stronghold of religion and nationalism and historical revisionism. Now, various forms of religion and nationalism in the Western Balkans, despite all differences, are having a more than a few common denominators following the similar patterns. Victimological and mythological narratives like Kosovo Covenant or Myth and Temurala Christianitasis, high professional identification followed by declarative religious practice, antagonisms towards the sexual, religious, or ethnic minorities, Europhobia and anti-Western anti -Western sentiment are shared components present in every religious nationalism in the Western Balkans. Possibly one of, of the pivotal common denominators is transgenerational remembrance articulated by the political and religious elites. Antagonism between the dominant religions in the Balkans is not rooted in dogmatic or theological differences, but rather in the religious imagination of the political, politicized religion and theopolitical articulation of transgenerational remembrance, consequently being transformed into public narrative and social memory, sometimes deeply antagonized by religious or political factors. Therefore, Dominant religious, instead of being institution of collective memory, are playing the role of medium or even guardians of transgenerational remembrance, lately referred as the post memory by Hirsch. Such narrative or role playing, after being politically, politically manipulated into friend food matrix, has strong counter capacity by forming past believers which view the other to specific post-conflict construction of remembrance, which are sustaining ethnic tensions, religious extremism, and intolerance. Viewing the relations between major religions in the Western Balkans through the lens of relational metrics, it will be possible to place them between antagonism and intolerance. Uh, and indifference, sorry and much lies between negotiation and dialogue. Therefore, those relations are not explicitly valid, but rather intolerant, like in trust, sometimes with present oppression of human rights violations. Where, where religions are constantly remaining in a frozen conflict. Consequently, contemporary politics is encompassed by religious imagination. Quoting Gilgis Maia. Social and political struggles have been drawn into real or cosmic drama. A for, aforementioned deviant intervening between sacred and political is still standing as a major obstacle towards reconciliation and support to pivotal regional peace initiatives such as RECOM. In that respect, we could define the Balkan states highly differentiated, the Jure, yet in the lower degree de facto integrationists where political and religious are present. In this research, this course analysis will be used as a primary research method, while the presented context will include wartime editions of Pravostalje, Crkveni Glasnik, and Glaskozila during the period of 1990s to 1996. The research will show how prominent relig uh, religious media at Brink of War and during the armed conflict manipulated with remembrance by using exclusive and selective approach towards the past stressing the exclusive victimological narrative. In that respect, major symbols of collective remembrance emerge. Blybog, as symbol of suffering of Croatian army uh, and oppression of communist regime, and Jasenovac, as symbol of Serbian suffering and often used by Milosevic and satellite governments in Ukraine and, Ser and by the Serbian Orthodox Church prior and during the conflict to demonize the new elected government in Croatia and present them as newly established and resurrected to Stasha independent states. These narratives are still standing today as a whole mass of collective remembrance in the public language of two dominant Christian confessions in the Western Balkans, which are reluctant to leave such active by empowering strong ethno-political narrative influence in public life, leaving divisions and thick boundary lines intact keeping the reconciliation process traps, trapped in the complex intertwining of ethno-nationalism and religion and politics. 
Now, the second part of this presentation, which is encompassed by this team, is the trailer for uh, the pilot, documentary pilot called Religion, Nationalism, and Culture of Remembrance. I hope it will be uh, more interesting than this presentation.